Hello Virgo. Welcome to your reading for mid-February. I'm sorry I sound like this. I've been sick and I'm still in my PJs. But I have to get these done. Alright Virgo, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Alrighty, Virgo, any interaction with this video, whether it's a like or a comment or a share or a subscribe, is going to add your energy to the collective pool and will well, make it easier for me to read for everybody. It's a thing, I promise you. Because otherwise I just feel like I'm talking to a wall. You know what I mean? I need to be able to feel the energy of the people I'm reading for okay now we're doing a simple past present future and i will flip your oracles as and when i get to your rows let's start with the recent past we have who else got this i think it was taurus so you could be dealing with a taurus or have it heavily in your chart last quarter moon in libra make time for self-love a lot of the signs have been getting um very hermit like energy your energy virgo and I've been trying to figure out why that is because we don't have too much activity in your sign at least when it comes to the planets but I will figure it out eventually but let's see I feel like you've been pouring into yourself yep exactly the four of swords you've been healing sanctuary and rest the four of swords for me to an extent is the minor arcana of the hermit card which is your card in the tarot the four of swords um, is preceded by the three of swords and the four of um, wands interesting two fours now since we have a mention of the three of swords at least in the energy there was pain some kind of pain whether it was self-inflicted whether it was you getting in your head or it was caused by another person i don't know just yet but it pushed you to go in deeper to self-reflect to isolate we have the four of wands which talks about comfort and community so it's possible that when it came to either your home environment or when it came to a commitment whatever it is there was almost the sense of refraining from getting involved in celebration does that make sense i feel like the people around you could have been um full of life full of this fire energy but a part of you just just wanted to go within a part of you did not want to partake again we have the hanged man with the five of wands and the empress the hanged man again is patience and perspective this is very quiet energy this is you just surrendering to the divine and and looking for answers knowing that you won't find them um, in your 3d reality i'm almost getting that the people you were surrounded with were not evolved enough to help you heal does that make sense? And this whole celebration and not wanting to partake in it just sounded weird in my head when I said it, but it kind of makes sense. It's almost like you don't want to be a part of the chatter. I do see some kind of emotional fulfillment that wants to come about here, but you're not ready for it because there's something that you need to do for yourself first before you get involved with, with outside energies. Or at least this is something that you had to do in the past for you. We have the Traveller, which is the full energy, adventure and potential. Some of you may have just taken solo trips. You know, you may have just made time for self-love in that regard. Um, we have the Queen of Cups. That's beautiful energy with the star. The star, again, is healing. It is isolation. The Queen of Cups is, well, the epitome of love. Not just love you give to others, but the love you pour into yourself. But with the fool, I'm almost getting this revival, this rejuvenation. What is the fool? The fool is card number zero, right? It is the first card of the major arcana. The whole tarot is called the fool's journey. So this is a reset for me. It's almost like you're not gonna isolate yourself forever, or you didn't, right? But you needed that little bit of me time so you could feel like yourself again. As a Virgo, your mind moves a mile a minute. You're ruled by Mercury, right? I have a Virgo um, south node, so I understand this. We're very prone to OCD, very prone to anxiety, very prone to overthinking. So I feel like you realize that there was a problem. 
that needed to be fixed and the only person who could fix it was you the fool like i was saying carries a very small rucksack in the original rider weight the only thing the fool is carrying is lessons and wisdom the fool is not carrying any baggage from the past that's what you're doing i feel like you had your eyes set on this four of wands this community this happiness this emotional milestone right but there was almost like there were these loose ends that you needed to tie up before you could join in that celebration of life interesting let's see what do we have for the present oh wow we uh, saw the queen of cups and now we have the king of cups so that there's a divine match right here there is somebody you are connecting with who has a whole lot of love for you my friend we have judgment with the queen of pentacles earth energy with scorpio energy and your oracle says by the book who else got this uh, i want to say cancer i'm not certain i think it was cancer so you could be dealing with any of these signs and queen of cups is again cancer energy uh i feel like with this awakening card this renewal and enlightenment this renewal is happening within a connection why it's happening within a connection is because with the queen of pentacles you and the person you are dealing with have learned to be independent within a union that's very important i'm jumping around a little bit bear with me the king of cups scorpionic energy is very stable right it's it's harmonious there is a sense of um if you see an ecg right there aren't too many spikes and too many upward or downward spikes it's very stable the frequency is very stable the emotional frequency since we did mention the three of swords whatever pain there was in the past i feel like it has been successfully dealt with and with by the book i'm almost feeling like you don't want any surprises in life anymore happy or unhappy ones and that sits very well with the virgo's frequency because you guys are very by the book right i'm not saying you're boring not by any means but i feel like you create rule books for yourself virgo and you follow them to a t and that is what makes your life harmonious this person whoever it is that you are dealing with is finally understanding that is understanding your rules not in a controlling way you know but in a compromising way what i said about the queen of pentacles now the queen of pentacles is an energy no gender in tarot is somebody who puts on her oxygen mask before helping other people and i was just telling leo the same thing about how you need to be independent within a union otherwise it leads to codependency right and with make time for self love i'm almost getting two of cups energy why both the cups in the two of cups are two aces of cups right two full cups of love that have come together to form a union how are those aces of cups formed self love and with justice right here there's a balance that is coming about i'm getting so much harmony in this reading it's blowing my mind i feel like this person whoever it is that you are dealing with realizes that i don't want to say that you make them whole i'm almost feeling they feel that you bring out the absolute best in them the wheel the hermit that's a lot of major arcana and the knight of swords there's a conversation that is coming and if you had both hermitized yourselves i feel like it was orchestrated by the universe you both needed a little bit of that quiet time to self reflect we have the five of wands i want another one now this conversation since we have the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck it may result in a heated debate a healthy a healthy but heated debate why because i feel like there's something that needs to be addressed here something that was brimming below the surface that was brushed under the rug it needs to be addressed so that this king of cups this justice energy can emerge there's something unspoken here virgo oh that's a lot of cards 
beautiful energy we have the six of cups and we have the ace of pentacles you see normally now leo got the five of wands as well and i got an awful energy from that i'm not getting a bad energy from this five of wands i'm almost getting this as as a necessary exercise because there is sentimentality here this is a soul connection <clears throat> with the six of cups and with the ace of pentacles it's almost like in order to plant um this beautiful seed of this re this renewed relationship you need to till the soil right you need to disturb that soil to loosen it up so this disturbance is is necessary and it's almost like it was written <laughs> it was orchestrated it needs to happen so keep your cool now we do have mercury conjuncting pluto at least today while i'm recording and up till the 11th so if you're watching this today or tomorrow that conversation could help you both dig very very deep into each other's psyches again okay, scorpionic energy let it happen let that conversation happen it may be very difficult for you but it's necessary it is required okay beautiful connection absolutely wonderful it's almost like a necessary tower it needs to fall so that you can both reach equilibrium but there's a whole lot of love here all right let's see for the future we have warrior woman have you answered your deepest calling i'm not very happy with that card because it doesn't sit well with your reading so i'm going to get one more i'm almost getting like so i have been talking about palace athena how she was the daughter of zeus and she prioritized intellect and wisdom over anything else and it got her really far in life it does make sense considering you are a very mercurial sign virgo there is something about making sure you choose your words very wisely right your words can be very sharp and cutting because you're so sure of what you're saying as you should be but they may be interpreted wrong because of your tone you know what i mean so try and not be on the defense understand that you're on the same team and proceed from there and then we have unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives interesting i like this one and someone else got this i think it was aries i'm not certain but you remember i said that this is a soul contract it's a soul tie and i have been talking about the universe orchestrating a whole lot of this for you when you have unbound this is almost like the devil card in reverse okay this is you learning the lessons that you were supposed to learn by the book is very important right you've been learning you've been reading that book once you have successfully completed those lessons that you were both put on this earth in this lifetime to learn you can release that contract you're not releasing each other you're releasing the contract so now you're not forced to be with each other you can choose to be with each other does that make sense because soul contracts and karmic ties are very difficult they are not as romantic as people um, play them out to be they're not trust me i know from experience they're very difficult energies but once you truly learn and once you release that soul pattern you're free and you can truly plant that seed not because someone's forcing your hand to do it not because there's a lesson attached to it but because you're doing it of your own free will you know and that awakening enlightenment renewal unbound this is very deep it is very deep energy this is not your run of the mill relationship by no means oh beautiful i absolutely love your reading virgo and your readings have been very all over the place lately and i find myself fumbling a lot during your readings for some reason i almost feel like a part of me wants to impress you guys because i absolutely adore virgos but i don't find myself fumbling at all and whoever is reading this is i feel like you guys have reached this level of maturity that is absolutely wonderful my goodness we have the world oh three of swords seven of pentacles the four of cups the chariot cancer energy again with the six of pentacles it's graduation time virgo you have been through a lot and you have learned a lot and i feel like so has this person and because you have gone through all these lessons these are all lessons right the seven of pentacles knowing where to invest your time the three of swords which has shown up i was talking about it 
right um, and the four of cups saying no when you need to the chariot knowing exactly which way you're going and the six of pentacles trying to achieve that balance you've learned everything that you needed to my friend and with the ace of wands this is a brand new beginning and with justice there's truth and clarity there's almost this revelation that right that was tough but we were meant to go through it you have two aces the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands you can't make this up i was just going to swear choice trust you are choosing to be with each other this is the lovers card gemini energy you are choosing to be with each other you're not being forced by any cosmic forces because you have done the work and the world is back after all that shuffling fulfillment and celebration you are both successfully graduating virgo i think this has been the best reading i've done so far at least in for the mid feb category wow i can't get over it congratulations <laughs> that's all i can say all right let's get you some charms to close this off we have an elephant which talks about we did see the six of pentacles so not just sharing the load um you know that equal give and take it also talks about nostalgia and loyalty so i feel like do a little bit of past life regression you may just find that you truly did know each other in a previous lifetime which is why this connection is so strong we have a snowflake and this is telling me two things it's telling me if there was any coldness if there was a cold war right i mean perceived cold war because there was isolation right here that's coming to an end the ice is thawing and secondly every snowflake is unique so i feel like you both realize you're both unique to each other and you know you can't be replaced either of the partners in this relationship can't be replaced we have beautiful we have love and we have blessed now this is all sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and puppies and i agree this is a phenomenal reading i feel like you both realize that this connection is difficult but it is absolutely beautiful and everything that you have been through in this journey through this journey has been worth it and you are blessed most definitely the universe may have put you through hardships but eventually it's bringing the rewards we have the letters x j p and e now these could be your initials they could be the initials of the person you're dealing with doesn't have to be but this is for someone out there and that's all we have for you virgo i hope this helped and i truly hope this resonated because this is stunning i will see you in the next one virgo take care of yourselves